going to briefly cover how to submit registration, re submit registration of training modules, which is known as the Form 200. I'm going to do this quickly. These instructions are on the NCCER website, as, as well as a more verbose tutorial video. Mine's going to be pretty fast, but all the instructions are there. You start by logging into the NCCR main page as your craft instructor. You are going to float over the submissions button, go down to registration of training models modules and click. It will have self-populated a few of the forms, your name, your card number. You need to tell it your training sponsor and make sure it populates your training unit. You need to give it a unique form title that's relevant to you. In time, your list will be filled up with a bunch of different forms you've submitted. And so you want to give it a decent name that stands out to you. We're doing great. Let's go ahead and plug in some trainees. Your students should have already filled out and provided back to you their signed registration form with their NCCER number. You could simply just put that in here, and that is the most accurate way, although you can also do a search. I've made a bunch of fake accounts here. You can also do a search for your students based on their name. The problem with that is that you could theoretically pick the wrong person, so make sure you're getting the right person, and I know that's me. I'm going to select Preston. I'm going to add, and if you watch in the background, he's going to be added to that list in the background. Let's see here. And maybe we go Preston was added. I do not need to close this window. I'm going to go ahead and get my next student, my next trainee in there. Jose, make sure you've got the right person. Check, click add. Now you can see Jose is added. I think I got a Julie in there. Make sure it's your student. Click add. And let's do one more. I got a Tim in there somewhere, I think. Oh, a couple different Tims. Make sure you pick the right one. And add. All right, you would do all of your trainees that you plan on submitting on this form. I personally wait until the end of the course, and I submit them all at once. Okay, once I'm into my form, I'm going to actually add some modules by clicking the Edit Modules button. This has been a little glitchy. What's going to pop up here are module only the modules you are certified to teach in. I've got a few extra ones in here. Uh, for our example, we're going to go with the Core 09, Core 09, and I'm going to check all of those, and then I'm going to uncheck the rigging. I do not teach the rigging. That's an elective that you don't have to do to pass Core. I want to click Save, and it should populate with all the modules, but for whatever reason, it hasn't been. So I figured out you just click Edit Modules again, and click Save again. There we go. Now all the modules for every one of my trainees are populated into our form. All we're missing now are completion dates. I can fill them in all at once. Now you don't have to have this on the exact day they completed that particular module. You can do it when the course was completed. That's completely acceptable to the NCCER. I'm going to now click on autofill dates. And there we go. All of my dates are filled in for all my trainees. Now what if you have a situation where a student didn't complete all of them but you want to make sure what they have completed gets registered? Simple. At this point I'm going to go through, let's say Tim missed the first two, I'm going to delete those out of his individual training record. So make sure what you are marking here as being completed is accurate and that you're keeping hard copies on file in your own files in your classroom in the event of an audit. Make sure you have the release form box checked. Check, check. Uh, at this point, you can save it if you wanted to come back to it later, and it'll end up in your list of forms. Or if it's ready to go, you can click on Submit, and it will submit to your training sponsor for processing. You'll have to check your box here. And that's how we create a Form 200, populate it with trainees and modules. Thanks for watching.